Hey there YouTube, how are you all doing? Happy Saturday! Today is the 24th of July and I'm going to try to make this video as quick as I can but I have decided to get my life right. I have a lot of makeup and I don't use it all so I decided to do a makeup declutter and so I'm going to share with you all all of the makeup that I have all that I'm getting rid of, all that I'm keeping, and all that I am putting away for a giveaway. I decided that I'm at 74 subscribers, I think. When I get to 100 subscribers, I'm going to do a little giveaway. I have some makeup that is still very good makeup, unopened. I got a lot of them as uh, free gifts with purchase. And I have so much makeup already, and I'm not going to use them and if I do it's going to be a long time from now and I don't want it to expire so I'm going to do a giveaway once I reach a hundred subscribers so share with your friends tell them about my channel I know I'm not the most consistent I'm get, trying to get better with that follow me along on my weight loss journey and my journey to get healthier and also my makeup tutorials they're not really tutorials because I still don't know what I'm doing <laughs> but just my uh, makeup techniques that I've learned along the way for those beginners out there we can both learn together but anyways let's go ahead and look at what I have here it took me quite a while to get everything uh, situated and semi-organized. I separated everything by category. So I have eyes, lips, complexion, like uh, concealers and setting powders, and then I have all of my foundations, all of my blushes, contours, highlighters, all of my setting sprays and um, primers and all of my eyeshadows. Yeah, it's a lot. So let's take a look at it. Once again, I know I say this in almost all my videos, but my dog is in the background and he has a little bit of a breathing problem. He's back there breathing heavy, if you guys hear that noise. But anyways, let's take a look at what we have here. So here we have all of my eyeshadows. There's my dog. Say hello, Shogun. Go play with your toy, go. Alright, so here are all of my shadows. I have quite a bit here. Uh, this is not an eyeshadow. This actually should go over here with the contours. Um, yeah, just going to lay it out for you. Okay, so here is everything all laid out. Let's go through it. This is a palette from Mary Kay. I used to be a Mary Kay consultant, and this was their spring palette of 2016, I believe. It's got four colors and then three lip colors there. I've got my Wet n Wild palette. This is my favorite one um, of this collection, Rosé in the Air. This is a Milani palette. I think this might have been one of the first eyeshadow palettes I've ever purchased. So. Um, Actually, let's go through this together. These two are definitely going in the trash because I have not used them in a long time and they're really old. Uh, this Buxom Pink Shadow uh, was really pretty the couple times that I used it. I think I got it as um, like a redeemable point at Sephora. Uh, so that's going in the trash. This Too Faced probably was the very first Too Faced shadow eyeshadow I purchased. It's really pretty. So here I've swatched these colors for you. Oh, it's kind of out of focus. <laughs> oh, it's not focusing. All right, so in the top right-hand corner of my hand are the four Milani colors. Uh, right below that, that taupe color and that pink color is the Too Faced taupe and the pink Buxom. And then the four colors on the left side, uh, these four here are the Mary Kay colors. Okay. 
Moving on, we have these City Mini palettes from Maybelline. These are both fairly new, and I fell in love with this. was the first one that I purchased. I just really love this peachy orange color there, and I think it goes well with that brown. And then this is the collaboration that they did with Makeup Shayla, and I really like those two. So these three are keep being kept. This Bare Minerals palette I've had forever and never really used it. Let's see what colors are in here. So we have like a brownish and a goldish color here. Very old. I could barely even get this thing open. Uh, I'm not going to swatch all of these, but pretty colors. You all will see a trend that I really like neutrals, nudes. This I got as a free gift with purchase from Ulta. That's Ulta Beauty. And actually these aren't eyeshadows. These are blushes and a bronzer, so these need to go in another pile. I got this from Limelight, you know, one of those multi-level -market, multi marketing companies, kind of like Mary Kay. But I just thought that was a really pretty brown. This one's fairly new, so I'm going to keep this. Um, I went to a to an event and there was somebody selling them and I think I won it. I got two Makeup Forever custom eyeshadow palettes so I got a matte color and a shimmer and they complement each other. Um, my shimmer in this brown broke and I was using the brown for a while but I'm going to get rid of these two. They're pretty old and I have not used them in forever. You can see this purple one is barely touched but they are really old so getting rid of those. I'll probably just get rid of the pans because um, you can keep the little palette and if I want to replace the colors I'll still have the palette and don't have to repurchase. Here is a Lancome eyeshadow. Uh, I think it's a quad. Nope, it is five. I don't know what you would call that. <laughs> but anyways, oh, sorry about the blinding you with the light. I got this as a free gift with purchase. Pretty colors. This is fairly new. I might stick on, hold on to this one for a little while. Um, look at all of my Too Faced collection. This, this whole row here, and these two are Too Faced. This was my very first eyeshadow palette, I believe, that I purchased from Too Faced. I got this back in 2010. So you know this is well overdue. I've hit pan on quite a few of the colors. And because I loved it so much, I repurchased it. And as you can see, the packaging is a lot smaller. And, but it's got the same colors. This is the shadow that I used to use for my brows. And I've hit pan on that. Um, I think I'm gonna hold on to this for a little while longer. It is pretty old, so I probably should throw it away. I'm just gonna put this in the maybe pile. This one definitely is going to be thrown away, but I wanted to point out why this was so big and I wish Too Faced would bring this back, but it has this little drawer here. Cool, huh? And in this drawer came this little brush here. <laughs> I just put it in there, she left it out. It used to have one of those little sponge applicators here, but after washing uh, that sponge eventually came off but it's also got this angled brush here it's pretty thin so this is really good for eyeliner or doing your eyebrows so I've held on to this brush for all of these years but that's what came in here and I wish that Too Faced would make these again because I really love this brush it's so convenient and compact the chocolate bar palette getting rid of it Love this palette. Love the way it smells. Oops, sorry you guys. Um, love the colors in it. This was um, the reason I bought this palette. This color here. Absolutely love it. However, this palette makes me itch. Makes my eyeballs itch. Not my eyeballs, but you know, my eyelids. So I am going to get rid of this palette. It's... Um, it's it's decent age. Probably should get rid of that. Got the Too Faced Sweet Peach Palette. Love this palette. I haven't used it in a while, but uh, I'm going to hold on to this one. I really love this palette. It smells good. Looks good. I like the colors in it. Too Faced Sexy Palette. I 
don't know why I bought this palette. It is full of shimmers. Uh, there are no mattes in there. Um, and you know, I was wild when I first bought it, but I'm not so wild now. Uh, I think I'm going to get rid of this one. I did create a purple look on my Instagram. If any of you follow me, um, you'll see that purple look. And I believe this is the palette I used. I cannot remember what I used to make that eye look, but it has to be this one because of these purples. Uh, and it was really pretty. So maybe before I throw this away, I'll try to recreate that look one more time or find some shadows similar to this because I really love that purple look that I did. Next is the Too Faced I Want Candy palette. I love this palette because it reminds me of a box of chocolate. Did you guys ever see uh, Matilda and how Trunchbull had that um, tin of candy chocolates in her house? And that's what it reminded me of. But anyways, I do like these colors. I like how they've um, arranged the colors. You've got three eye looks here and then you've got your under your eyebrow highlights and this was one of my favorite palettes I loved how it swatched I have not used it in a while because you know something greater came out and I just haven't revisited it but I'm going to hold on to that one and the thing that stole its thunder was this Too Faced Just Peachy Mats I liked the peach palette the uh, sweet peach palette and I loved how this one kind of can accompany it with just matte shades favorite one of my favorite palettes of all times once again I have not used this in a while because something else stole its thunder <laughs> which I'll come to shortly but these two are definitely in the keep pile then I have a Too Faced peanut butter and jelly palette smells good pretty cute compact I use this um, when I travel. It's got my basic shades here. I can create a pretty simple look with it and it smells good. Too Faced, I love how they make their shadows smell good. This one I got not too long ago. This is uh, Natural at Night. I said not too long ago. I actually got this not too long after I got the um, Natural Eye Palette. And I uh, hit pan on this color. And I think I've used this color, but the other ones I, I haven't used too much. This one here I might have used once or twice. It looks like I did more, but I probably just accidentally dug something into it. So I think I'm going to let go of this one. Alright, so because I don't want this video to be too long, I'm not going to go palette by palette. I'm just going to show you what they are, and I'm just going to point out, keep, and throw away. Starting at the top with my Urban Decay's Naked Palette. These are throwaway. I got the Naked 3 Palette and the Naked 2 Palette. Um, these are probably next to Too Faced, my first um, high end brands that I purchased. And then the Naked Basics. Throwing this away too. Alright, here we go. Keep, throw away keep throw away keep this one's new I actually did an eye look on this today but it did not come out well probably because of the way I primed so I do want to try that again I haven't decided if I'm going to post that look yet on my Instagram but keep keep these is a favorite this is a favorite and I'm going to keep this one it's not a favorite but I do like it um, these I got around the holidays uh, what are these? I think these are Profusion. Oh, it's too bright, sorry. Profusion I got from the Dollar General. I may keep these just for a little quick weekend looks. Um, I got a natural looking one and then one with a little purple color. Um, moving on, another Profusion palette that they sell at Target. Gonna keep that. These peachy mattes, they're very pretty. MAC palette, um, had this for many 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 years I created a custom palette with those colors and I don't use too many MAC products these days so this one is going away I have a few Makeup Geek shadows I have not gotten a pan for these but um, I've got Roulette, Cocoa Bear and Bitten this here I uh, subscribe to Ipsy 
and so this was one of the products that they sent me and I don't think I've used it yet I just swatched it so I'm gonna hold on to that then I've got this Venice Beach palette from Lorac and I really like that I have not had the opportunity to use it yet I've just swatched it so that's a keep I've got this Morphe um, which one is this one this is the Morphe 3502 palette. They started selling them at Ulta. I think this was a huge steal. I think this palette was like $25 for all of these shadows. Where have you been all my life, Morphe? So that's that. Um, with those Makeup Geek shadows, I don't have a Z palette for it. However, this Mary Kay palette that I've had from when I used to be a consultant. Look how dirty it is. I need to clean it off. I am going to get rid of these because I don't use them anymore, but this palette is magnetic so I can probably use it for my loose Makeup Geek shadows. So those are all of my eyeshadows out of all of the ones that I had. Um, let's see, here are my keeps. Um, so I kind of narrowed it down. Okay. Who this video is getting long. It's already 11 minutes. It's probably more than that. And these are all the shadows I decided to uh, get rid of. Okay. So I've decided to cut this video short because it's getting pretty long already. We've gone through my eyeshadows, the ones I'm going to keep and the ones that I'm going to discard. And I've decided to go ahead and maybe make this a week-long event where we go through a different category each day of the different makeup that I'm going to keep and get rid of. So maybe tomorrow will be lips, the next day maybe complexion or setting sprays and primers. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. You all will see when I upload. Hopefully I can hold true to uploading every day for the next couple of days until I get all of my makeup organized. As I mentioned at the beginning of the video, I do want to do a giveaway for when I reach 100 subscribers. Right now I'm at 74. Thank you all for keeping up with me, subscribing, liking my videos, commenting, and following me on my weight loss journey to my journey to health. It's been a rocky journey, but I'm not giving up. I'm not quitting. As a little update from the last video, I have fell off on my 30 days straight of working out so I'm gonna get back on track um, starting tomorrow <laughs> and uh, thank you for following my makeup journey if you all have seen my videos before you know that eventually one day I want to have my own freelance makeup business and so I'm just getting practice on myself whoever will let me practice on them and it's it's gonna be flourishing one day I already see the vision for it so the giveaway, in order to enter, I would like you to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Like this video, comment below. And um, I have included my Instagram handle, so go over to my Instagram page and follow me. And actually, you know what? I want you to comment below something specific. What's your favorite video of mine that you've seen thus far? What would you like to see in future content? And give me some positive criticism on how my channel could be better or what you'd like to see on, the, on my channel. Let's make it interactive and I, I want to include you all on uh, my journey. So uh, yeah, that's how you're going to enter the giveaway and I will randomly, randomly select someone and then I will get in contact with you on how to send you the uh, giveaway. I'm going to give you a little quick sneak peek. I'm probably going to add some more things over the next few weeks until I reach the 100 subscribers, but just to give you a little sneak peek of some of the stuff that's in there. So stay tuned and see that. Otherwise, I will see you in the next video. Thank you all for watching. Thank you for following me on my journey, and you all mean so much to me, and thank you for helping my channel grow. See you in the next video. Bye. Here's a little sneak peek of what's in the little giveaway, and here is a little mystery bag. Alright, that's all I'm going to give you.